Yo. Hey. Hey, Ronnie. Hey. Hey. Yo. I'm thinking about calling into work tomorrow, Dad. <laughs> Think that'll work? I don't think how they could argue. I'm not sure that could be argued with it. Can't all. come in. I'm dead. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'd like to. No, not even after lunch. No. So today on the show, hilarious ways <laughs> to quit your job. I quit this one right here. <laughs> yeah, that's like that Eagles song. You can check out, you can never but leave. you can never leave. Yeah. All right, today, hilarious ways to quit your job is next. I'm Anderson Listen Mark. Hello there. Welcome to our show. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. And this is Men Are So Smart. Usually, when people quit their job, they do it in a very traditional manner, giving two weeks or whatever it might be on paper written. They usually hand over a letter giving their notice or they meet privately with their bosses, but that's pretty boring. So let's change it up, Ronnie, and go over the most hilarious ways to quit your job. Yep, it's the complete opposite from the traditional method. Throughout this list, we'll be referring to the first-time jobs, part-time jobs, and careers. We are just covering all the bases, but before we jump into this list, let's just say we really don't recommend you quit your job by using any of these methods, no. okay? No. Right up front, we're telling you don't do this. Let me tell you this, the best time to look for a job is when you have a job. Yeah, so make sure you've got your bases covered before you quit your job, even if you have a hilarious way to quit it. You know, we're gonna probably give you some good ways, but. At some point, you're going to have to explain. Yeah, and I, after you hear this show, you're gonna wanna quit your job just because you found a hilarious way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But don't do it. But don't do it. No. Yeah, unless All you right. have another one Let's be up. clear. All right, number 10. Yeah. Uh, email or note. Okay. All right. Uh, now, out of all the options on this list, this one comes in at number 10 because it's not all that hilarious uh, of the hilarious ways to quit your job, but it's still pretty bad. Uh, this is a bad way to quit because it's very impersonal, uh, not to mention unprofessional. But kind of who cares? You're not going to be there anyway. If you have something lined up. Right. There's no interaction, face-to-face -face communication whatsoever. You have just made up your mind that you're leaving, and that's it. Uh, when you're stuck in a job that you can't stand, and you're sure you're doing the right thing for your sanity by quitting, then sometimes it is just time to quit. This may be one of the easiest ways for anyone to get out, but believe us, your bosses are not going to like it. You know, I've always thought to myself, when I quit, I'm going to give two weeks notice. At the same time, I'm giving my two-week vacation. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quitting right on the spot. When I come back from my, my vacation, I won't be working here anymore. Right, right. And that's part of my two weeks. <laughs> All right, next up is lying. Basically, it's just being dishonest in order to prolong your departure. For example, let's use a hypothetical scenario, Ronnie, okay. where you say you need to take some time off for health reasons. Right. You know you're not feeling great. You're getting older and your bones are starting to ache, that sort of thing. It happens. But when it's been two months and you're still not showing up at work, that looks a little bit fishy. Yeah. So then you come up with all these doctors and chiropractic notes that are basically just a bunch of lies. This is one of the worst and hilarious ways to quit your job because it's very immature. <laughs> and two, it's a waste of everyone's time. Yeah. Now, if you're actually sick, that's a different story. But lying about it is just not good. Don't do it because karma, is that karma or karma gear? <laughs> karma will come for you, and no one likes a karma uh, a liar. Right, All right, right, right. Okay, okay. This next one, have somebody else do it for you. I love that idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, like your wife. Yes. Hi, Lou's <laughs> not going to be in tomorrow or forever. <laughs> yeah, because he kind of quits. Yeah. Uh, so yes, again, this is not a good route to go. You know the saying: if you want to do something right, then you have to do it yourself. That's true. Now, just kind of like number ten. This is a quick and easy way out uh, and not have to deal with telling your boss. If you're working in a part-time job and your mom calls in to quit for you, then maybe it's the best choice. Yeah. Uh, similarly, if you're full-time career, you get a fellow colleague to tell your boss that you quit, that's a really bad decision. Uh, and you can be sure that if you change your mind and want that job back, 
you're never going to get it back. No. No way. <clears throat> and not only that, but as a former manager, one of the questions that's asked is, would you rehire this person? Oh, right. Remember that, kids. Yeah. It come, comes back to bite you in the ass. Seriously. Another way that's hilarious to quit, number seven, the rant. <laughs> this is more my style right here. <laughs> what? Going off on a rant is not a good way to end things. Sometimes when people get heated, their mouth just doesn't have a filter and they go off screaming, stomping, and maybe even breaking things. Before you know it, they're jumping on some furniture like Tom Cruise and they end up quitting right there and there, then and there. Their anger leads them to an isolation where they can't find a way to make things right for them. A decision you may soon regret. You should never make a life altering decision in the heat of the moment because as soon as clarity hits, and it will, you will certainly realize that you've made a huge mistake. Huge. Huge, although terrible if you are in this predicament. It is pretty entertaining to watch. Yeah. That makes it one of the most hilarious ways to quit your job. Hilarious. Hilarious, even. Uh, number six is vandalism. Oh, that's never good. No. So, believe it or not, grown-up men and women have been known to damage work property by spelling the words, I quit, on their office walls. This is the way that they let their bosses know that they're leaving. Uh... It's pretty gutsy, and you might even get sued for vandalizing company property. So maybe don't go about quitting this way. You know, I saw there's a commercial out, and I, I'm not even sure what it's for. But it's a woman walking through the office that says, there's cake in the break room. Oh, I saw that. Okay. And so they go in there, and oh, yeah. she has a big cake that says, I, I quit, quit. Yeah. spelled out on it. Now, that's a, I think that's a clever way to do well, it. Well, yeah, and everybody gets cake. There's cake involved? Yes. Yes. Can you quit again next week? <laughs> <laughs> and the week after? Another way not to quit is in a meeting. Oh, God. Although, although I, I feel that in every meeting I attend. <laughs> this is not a good way to leave because it not only will make your boss look bad, but it will also make you look bad. You'll probably get a bad reputation in your industry because of this. It will show fellow employees, business owners, or investors that you are probably not someone they want to work with in the future. So do yourself a favor and don't pull all of that negative attention. Don't put it all on yourself, all right? I have to tell you, I belong to a committee at the Sheriff's Department where we were picking new vehicles and we went through and we had a number of categories that the vehicles had to do well in. And no one vehicle had every, they couldn't all check every box because we were looking for vehicles with a tight turning radius, uh, pretty serious off-road capabilities. Uh, we were looking at dependability of the vehicles and right on down the line. And when the decision and wasn't quite decided on yet, but one of the vehicles they were looking at was a Jeep. It's a product made, it, it's a Jeep Wrangler basically. I said, you know what? I want no, no further part of this committee. I'm out. <laughs> we have found literally every vehicle on this list is better than the Jeep. Uh, and you're putting that all aside because the Jeeps would be cool, basically. So I said, I I'm done. And so I quit. And then my buddy, who was also, we're car guys. And so they took our opinions. He quit also. He goes, I don't want to be left in there with that being on my shoulder that I picked those. So yeah, that was during a meeting. Now this one, number four, is quitting while you're on vacation. Going right back to what you had said earlier, leaving on vacation and never coming back is pretty funny. Yeah. Because you're basically just bailing without telling anybody. I had no notice. Well, this is actually a situation a lot of you can relate to. We're not judging. Thank you. No. Uh, it seems like a pretty common practice in the movies where a couple goes on vacation and just never comes back to their jobs. Uh, kind of sounds awesome to think about it. I like it. Yeah. Hey, I went to uh, went to Hawaii for two weeks. Yeah. Gave me time to think. I kind of like it here. Yeah. I'm not coming back. Right. So you can sell all my crap. <laughs> you know that reminds me of a story. When I was in Salt Lake City, I was doing a classic rock station, a morning show there. <laughs> and due to a series of events... I was offered another job 
while I still had a job. And I told the people that offered me the job, I can't do that. It conflicts with my first job. And they said, okay, fine. Two weeks later, the job that I was in, the boss came to me and said, hey, look, we need to move you to the afternoons because we're hiring these two guys to do mornings. Boy. The point is... Where was that information two yeah, weeks Yeah, two weeks ago, and I could have been, <laughs> I could have been doing TV. Yeah. <laughs> and so they said to me, well, what would you like to do if you don't want to do afternoons? I said, you know what? Fly me out of this shithole. <laughs> and so they did. And that was my notice. <laughs> and here I am today. That, that should be on the list. I haven't looked at number one, but maybe that might be number one. Oh, what no, are we at? Number three? It, yeah. Uh, quitting on the spot. This is a pretty awful way to quit your job, just like number four, you are going to be leaving the company shorthanded. A friend of ours actually did this while we were working at a movie theater. Basically, the boss wasn't that great, and it was during a busy holiday rush. She just couldn't take it anymore, so she told them right on the spot, I quit. <laughs> at that time, she was a team leader, so she was in charge of a lot of staff members. So you can imagine that wasn't a good situation for the theater. Yeah, quitting on the spot is not the best, but if you need to get out of the job where you hate it, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But still, this is one of the most hilarious ways to quit your job. Yeah. Uh, Fly me out of this hole. Man, I've been there. Uh, number two, uh, funniest way to quit, publicly slash online. Oh, that's not smart at all. <sighs> so you're getting right on your Facebook page. Yeah. And basically this, uh, this clip that they offer here, Cisco just offered me a job, exclamation point. Uh, now I have to weigh the utility of a fatty paycheck against the daily commute to San Jose and hating the work. Uh, so now this has to be done, or has to be one of the most absolute worst ways to quit your job, and please try to never do this. Uh, the reason, the company now has this on record, and if you say something damaging, towards the company or name out any specific people and speak poorly of them, the company could sue you. Yeah, uh, nobody has time for listening to your excuses. It really is, that's the, and trust me, I've seen that on Facebook before where people have not necessarily quit, but they're like weighing their options mm -hmm. on Facebook. Not a good idea. And some of the things they say are damning. Oh, God. You know, it's just not the place. Yeah. Well, well, what what are you trying to quench? What is it you're trying to? What urge are you trying to quench by doing that online? Well, and I'll Drawing tell you more this. attention to yourself. So, because I work for a law enforcement agency, uh, when you apply for a job, they look at all your social media stuff. I bet they do. And if you have something that seems kind of sketchy on there or racist, uh, you're not getting hired. And they can't say, oh, we're not hiring you because of something you posted online. They're not going to say that. They're going to find another reason. Trust me, there are a hundred reasons why people shouldn't hire you, no matter how qualified you are. That's going to be one of the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And finally today, probably the most hilarious way to quit your job is while intoxicated. Uh, I've seen this done once before. Make sure you take an Uber to work, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we talked about some pretty horrible ways to quit your job. But in at the number one spot, we have the worst of them all. Quitting while you're hammered. Or is that the best of them all? It could be. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be the worst way to do it. You're not thinking clearly, and you're in a drunken haze. Or as I like to call it, Wednesday. <laughs> this is probably not the right time to be making life-changing decisions. Never let Jack, Morgan, or Jose make decisions for you. It's just not going to end well. Well, there you have it, guys. Our top 10 hilarious ways to quit your job. Again, we don't recommend any of them. Except for the cake. And the intoxicated. <laughs> and all of them. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, we're, we're just reporting those ways to you. Right. We're not suggesting. Uh, in fact, keep your job. It's good for the economy. Well, yeah. Although, there's never been more jobs available than right now. So. And unskilled laborer. That's another issue right there, Ronnie. Yeah. No skill sets by yeah. from people who are going to four-year or slash six-year colleges, and uh, they're learning about literature, right. but not how to weld or how to work on a car. Yeah. No skill sets whatsoever. Hey, I, I talked to a... This is 
a tiny bit off subject, but still in the same vein. I talked to a fire inspector on Friday. Uh, did you know that all new construction now, residential, has to include fire sprinklers? No. And so, and there's not enough people to put them in. That is a booming, booming a pot with, I mean, it's, there's so many possibilities. And you could be busy for the next 10 years building 10,000 houses in Folsom in the very near future. Um, hey, if you don't have a great job, I don't think there's probably anything easier than running water lines in a house before it's framed and, and sheetrocked. So, hey, consider that. If you got a job you hate right now, maybe if, you know, if you're not too young, you don't have, haven't started a family yet, and you can afford to kind of start at the ground level, that might be a good place to start. Some good advice from Men Are So Smart. There you go. You get that every episode here, along with our opinions and our grumpy old men attitudes. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for today's show. Uh, if you haven't already done so, give the show a like. And while you're at it, subscribe and click the bell. That way you get notifications each time a new show comes out. Visit our website. We've got lots of fun stuff for you to do there, including viewer surveys that you can take, uh, some videos, some blogs, pictures, lots of stuff to do. Go there and click, 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 click. I'm Lou Gallagher. Thanks for watching today. This has been another episode of...